welcome everyone in this video series where we are discussing object oriented concepts design and implementation so today we are going to talk about another object oriented design pattern and it's a very popular one that is singleton design pattern what do you mean by singleton design pattern singleton design pattern consist of a class for which there exist only one instance you cannot create more than one instance and that class also has to provide a global point of access to that unique instance right so there are two things in singleton right there has to be only one instance there can be only one instance for the singleton class and the singleton class has to provide a global point of access global way of accessing that single instance right so before we go into the implementation of singleton class how do we implement this why do we need it right so in certain functionalities for example thread pooling or device manager softwares like a class which uh, manages the access to a certain device let's say printer right or a certain activities such as dialog boxes loggers right error loggers system loggers right so in these kinds of functionalities uh having only one instance of the class is a better solution because if you have multiple instances of these uh, classes for example you have a class which is managing the access to your printer right and if you have multiple instances of that class they all may try to access the printer at the same time right so it might result into inconsistent behavior or for example of a logger suppose you have multiple instances of error loggers right they all might be writing in the same file at the same time right so that could lead to a inconsistent outcome sometimes it is uh, also done for certain resources which are heavy right so you have to conserve them for example at times people create singleton class for database connector because establishing database connections could be a heavier operations in certain cases so they have only one connection right and that that connection is reused uh, for multiple purposes right but again it is very contextual there's no certain certain use case for singleton class or singleton pattern it depends on context of each application whether the application is a, a web application or a desktop application i have used it uh, for database connectivity i have used it for modal boxes the modal boxes that you see in your web application so i knew that most of the pages in my application are going to require that modal boxes so why create that class instances again and again so we kept one instance of it so now let's see how to implement this singleton pattern right how to define a singleton class the way you do it is you say class singleton let's say we will name it as singleton right so the key to implementation of singleton pattern is to make the constructor as private right so first thing you should do is make the constructor as private right so there is some code in that constructor if the constructor is private that means no other class can directly instantiate the singleton class but we have to provide a means to access the one instance of singleton class so we will write a public static method which will return an instance of the same class singleton and let's name this method as get instance right in this method we basically will create instance right of this singleton class and return it but before that we have to make sure that there exists only one and one instance of this singleton class and in order to make sure that we'll have static field so let's say private static 
uh, of type singleton again same type and we'll name it as unique instance right so this is the field and we'll check if unique instance equal equal to null only if it is not yet created we'll say unique instance equal to new singleton as the constructor is private we can only call it from within the class so we can call it here we will create instance and we'll just say return unique instance right and that is basically it so this is a variable to create to store the unique instance we'll store the unique instance in this variable this is a static variable and we'll check every time somebody so this is our global point of access this is the way outside classes can get instance of this singleton class by calling the static get instance method right in this method we'll first check if unique instance is null or not if it has been created before or not if it has not been created before we'll create a new singleton instance assign it to unique instance and return it if it is already created that means this is not null right then we'll simply will not execute this part we'll simply return the unique instance right this way we are making sure that there exists one and only one instance at any point of time for this singleton class right making sure on that there exists only one instance of a singleton class could be a bit tricky in certain cases for example if there are multiple threads in your application right if there are multiple threads operating then one thread could be here checking this condition while the other thread is already reached here it is in the process of creating the singleton instance so this condition might be holding true for t1 while t2 is busy creating the instance in that case we might have two instances getting created because of multiple threads right so for solving this we can always make this method this get instance method as synchronized so we'll say that means the access to the threads is controlled that means when one thread is occupying the method executing the method the other threads will be made to wait so that we don't run into that situation in in cases where we are sure that will definitely require one instance see it may happen that your application may never end up using this singleton class by the way apart from this code there will also be some functionality to this uh, singleton class it's not like it just creates object for nothing obviously there will be some purpose like i said for uh for managing a hardware device such as printer or for error logging or for database connectivity so that that code definitely will be here that logic will definitely be here it's not like it will be just this code right so now another uh, solution to avoid making more than one instance is that you can do lazy creation of this object that is in our single unique instance uh, static variable we can initialize it with new singleton we can initialize it with the instance and then so we don't need to do this in that case neither do we need to check if it is null in that case the code becomes really simple public static return type singleton yeah and we'll just say return unique instance because in this case at the time this class is getting loaded into the memory by jvm this unique instance will be initiated initialized with one instance right so it will always be there and then we'll just return that instance right but this will happen only once because at the time of initialization right so this could be one more way of making sure that only one instance gets created but this is this is called as lazy creation but this is more applicable this is more favorable when you know that you will require this singleton instance in your application then when you are sure that you will require it right when it comes to using singleton pattern one must be very cautious i mean 
if your application has lots of singleton classes that means you are going wrong in your design why singleton pattern is kind of a anti pattern in a lot of ways for example it violates the single responsibility principle or solid principle see it has two responsibilities one to make sure that it has only one instance to make sure there is only one instance for the class and another responsibility is its own functionality that it is providing right so it is violating our single responsibility principle another reason is it provides a global scope for this instance in your application that means multiple sources of code multiple uh, code locations could change the state of this singleton object right there will be state there will be some variables here in this class there will be some functions in this class as i said this class is also meant to provide some functionality like database connectivity or uh, error logging or something like that so because it's a global scope because there's only one instance being uh, used by the entire application the state of this instance can be changed via multiple code points multiple points in your source code right so it is very difficult to debug who changed the state of the singleton class when you are debugging there is some issue you don't know from where it got changed particularly in logging or in uh, device management right and it is very difficult when you are using singleton uh, classes the unit testing becomes really difficult also so for all these reasons it is advisable to use it sparingly it is meant for certain situations when you are absolutely sure that you need to do singleton for that then only you should do it right in my experience i have used it for modal boxes in my application web application but you have to decide according to the context of your application right so that is singleton pattern for you i'll see you in the next video where we will learn about another object oriented design pattern